Hey everyone, now it's time for the exciting stuff. You've got the basic body position down, you know how to carry speed without pedaling, you've got your pumping techniques figured out, but how about getting those wheels in the air? The most exciting thing ever, doing wheelies, showing off in front of your friends. But before you're ready to jump right into that, let's look at what goes into it and break down the foundation of lifting that back wheel, lifting that front wheel, and how that's going to look and how that's going to translate to wheelies. The simple act of just lifting your wheels in the air to get over an obstacle on the trail can be pretty intimidating if you're just starting out. So let's look at what's going on here and how you can safely practice. Imagine you're standing still and you want to jump in the air. So what do you do first? You bend your knees and preload your body. You want your body to act as a spring. The same principle here applies for wheel lifts, front or back wheel. When lifting your front wheel, preload your entire body, knees and elbows, and then lift up. At the same time this is happening, make sure you lean back slightly. See how my hips shift backwards and some of the weight is going on my rear wheel. This helps the front end go up. You probably won't get this motion right away, but don't be discouraged. It takes a lot of practice and patience to make this really feel like second nature. Find a nice straight long path to try this on. Once you've figured this out, you will notice that the amount of control you have on the trail will increase dramatically. Ready to take this to the next level? How about lifting that rear wheel? Now one thing that a lot of people get lost with is how am I even getting my back tire in the air like this? What's that looking like with my feet? And there's a really easy way you can practice just sitting on your bike. First of all though, you have to find out what foot forward you are, which means what is my dominant foot? For me, my right foot is typically in front of my left, so I'm right foot forward. What I do is I sit on my bike when I'm doing this practice and I want to get my left foot on first because that's my back foot and it's really easy to balance out your back foot and use that to lift your back wheel. So I got my left foot at the back and I'm sitting on the bike. Well, I'm not even sitting, I'm just standing with my bike on me and I'm lifting the back wheel just by pointing down my toes, getting a nice grip of the pedals and then letting it lift up. Just feeling this out really simply with both fingers on the brakes is going to help you understand how that motion even works. So give that a try before you jump into the back wheel lifts. Find a nice flat path to practice on so you're not getting yourself into a situation where you could easily fly over the handlebars. The key here is to lift your rear wheel without even touching the front brake at all. This is the same preloading concept as lifting your front wheel, except for you are shifting forward instead of backward. Notice how when I recompress my knees and elbows that my hips swing forward. This snaps all my weight forward to the front of the bike in a quick, simple motion. I have a solid grip on the pedals and handlebars. My chest is directly over the front wheel and I'm keeping a straight back. Don't force it. This is a subtle motion and you should never feel like you're about to fall over the front. I take a small preload before the big one. It's almost like being on a trampoline and doing that small setup jump before the big jump. It will help you prepare to swing forward in a balanced way. You will find that doing rear wheel lifts and using this technique won't be as practical on the trail as lifting your front wheel. However, it's an amazing practice for quickly increasing your bike control, which will ultimately become your base for more advanced tricks like bunny hops and wheelies. So I've got two drills for you to practice this skill. The first one is just to find a stick or anything like this on the ground of the forest, throw it right in front of you, and then what you want to do is just practice lifting your wheels over top of it one at a time. We'll start off with doing just the front wheel. Once you feel comfortable getting just your front wheel over top of the stick, work on getting your back wheel over top of it as well and try to time them really nicely so you're going front to back. Once this starts to feel easy, you can go out to the sidewalk and try our next drill which is a little more advanced. This sidewalk drill is a really great confidence building exercise. Do a hundred of these in a row and you will quickly figure out how to lift yourself over obstacles without even needing to get off your bike. Now that you've got that dialed, let's go into wheelies.